I know at least for me when I was when I was learning math, I could read it, but that didn't make anything stick. That day we were doing slope, we were talking about rate of change um, and what it looks like when you are changing in a positive manner versus when you're changing in a negative manner. Uh, remember, your degree is always what's even or odd, right? <coughs> the leading coefficient is what is positive or negative. So, degree so you can say that to students, but it doesn't always necessarily sink in right away. Um, and so what I like to have them do is play a game. Everyone loves Simon Says. So we had students use their arms as the graph. And I started off by saying a little bit more gradually, all right, Simon says positive slope, Simon says negative slope, Simon says zero slope, and then started to pick up the pace to see if they actually remembered which one positive slope was versus negative slope. Even, so they go the same way. Well, it's like a more active way of learning. It's more fun. And I think that people like to learn things when they enjoy it more. Standing up and actually doing the activity wakes them up, wakes up their body, and kind of reinvigorates them to, to be ready to go. I mean, that's like the fun part of it, but at the same time, like we're learning different ways to like do these equations and things to solve different math problems. So I think that's really important. I think the multiple intelligences are incredibly effective, especially in this scenario because certain students do incredibly well when they're actually engaged in the material. So in this, for this example, a kinesthetic activity not only simulates their body but their mind and really gets them producing what they've learned in a whole different way. Uh, and I think it, it sticks much better for them because of that.